Say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy Hey guys, it's Hopier, and today I'm going to be doing an updated tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. If this method is a bit too complicated for you, you can always check my old video, which is a bit more in-depth on things like green screening. So the first step is to make a private art book of your character all tilted with a green background, and you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of it with snipping tool, like so. By the way, this is voiceover, and I'm sorry for any bad quality. So next you want to go to Luna Pit, links in the description, and you want to click Edit, Transparent Background, and then choose File, pick what we took, and then go ahead, once it loads, and remove, click on the background, or remove it, and then wait for the preview frame to update, and you can basically play around with how much you want to make it like transparent. So once you're satisfied, just apply the threshold, and then save it. So next, you want to go ahead and go to Pixlr, <laughs> launch the web app, click create new image, and put in the YouTube thumbnail settings, which is 1280 by 720. So you don't need to make it transparent, but yeah, you got that. So next, you want to go ahead and search for an intro, a background. Usually, I pick aesthetic bedroom, cafe, field, something along the lines of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and search something but if the pixels are too small which I just highlighted don't get it because it's gonna be a bad resolution okay so I finally found something I'm gonna name it weak background and I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Pixar and I'm gonna click layer open images layer and then open my weak field next I'm clicking edit free transform and just adjusting the photo so it fits normally so next I'm just free transforming it again Okay, next click Gaussian Blur, which is under the filter section, and you can just use that to blur it. But here I am, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and if you want to know how to move things around, just click the mouse tool, which is selected on the left side. But anyways, I'm going to add my character and free transform it, basically using the same skills I used to add the background. And this is what we got from Luna Pick with no transparent background. W with a transfer background, I can't speak. So next, I'm gonna attempt to erase it to fix the balloons, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make these balloons look nicer, make a small tip, and just fix them. Okay, so here they are, all nice and fixed, so I'm just gonna go ahead, oh, that's too large, and just draw myself some strings. Because the balloon needs strings. Okay. So next, I think those strings are good. Okay. Just go to pickmonkey.com once again in the description and you want to open a PNG file. You can just get this from Pixlr by putting whatever size you want and then putting transparent background, which is what we use to make our thumbnail image. So you just want to wait for it to load the text and use your fonts. I get all of my fonts from dofont.com. You can see the list over there. Those are my most commonly used. But I'm just going to write how I in that font, and you just want to make it large, and you want to make sure it's white, because we are going to be turning it into a gradient. Next, export, and I like to name it whatever the word says, so I'm just naming it how I, and I'm saving that. So next, I'm just going to be repeating these steps for all of the other words, but I'm just going to be like, picking different fonts, I guess. I'm not really sure. So here we are. We got that font. <laughs> Now we got blacklisted. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and export it, and I'm going to name this Make My, just like I did for my other one. And the next word we have to write is Thumbnail. So if you want to get those little raindrop things, all you have to do is click square bracket for the ones I used in this one. But if you want, like, the really raindroppy ones, you use that, like, fancy bracket. Next, I'm just going to name that Thumbnails. So all you want to do is close that. Whoops. And click layer open images layer and you want to open your text and free transform it and just you know 
make it look cute, give it a cute layout. So now just add all of your text. As you can see, you can just adjust it, rotate it, and just make it look however you feel. So now I'm just using the magic wand. Oops. First I'm using layer styles. You want to turn on drop shadow, inner shadow, and you want to make it white, and then bevel. The rest of the things other than inner shadow, you don't, don't shave. Save the color. But now I'm just going to repeat these steps for all of the other words, as you can see. Now that we've done that, we want to make sure the layer that is selected, you can tell by it being blue, is the words we want to edit with our magic wand. So just select the magic wand. Select the word using the magic wand. <laughs> and now go to gradient. And basically play around with the colors until you get something you like. Usually I try to make sure that the colors match the theme of the background. I'm usually not really that good at it. So now I'm just going to be just striking it from the right on that one. On the other one I struck it from the left. And you're just going to select it and then gradient it. And just repeat it for every word so it does take a while. But you know what's life. You want to make sure it's unselected and then you want to move on to the next layer or text. Select it, and then now for the next word, I'm going to be using different colors. So for this one, I'm going for a bit of a green style, I guess. Green? I'm not sure. <laughs> and then I'm using some blue and purple. You can use multiple colors in a green, but I usually stick with two. And as usual, I'm taking my mouse from the left of the word letter thing and going in the diagonal. You just want to make sure it's the same pattern so you get the same type of gradient on each letter because if you took it from random directions it would look pretty weird. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the other letters. So I've gone ahead and finished them and I changed the color of make my because I felt like it didn't fit. So now all you want to do is save it and open PicMonkey. So just open the thing we just saved into PicMonkey and wait for it to load. Once it's loaded go to overlays and just click add your own which is how you add your own like emojis and stuff over so I'm gonna go ahead and use this flower overlay cause it is super adorable I've used it in like it's like my third thumbnail using it in but it's so pretty I'm just gonna play around with that until I find it cute and so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some emojis you can even add like a choker which I think is just adorable. Just look up choker PNG or something. So yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm back. And I have gone ahead and added the emojis. I use this moon one all the time. And I love this leaf. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some text. And just put your username so that no one can snatch your thumbnail. Because, you know, if someone tries to repost your video, they'll know it's by you. But once you've gone ahead and done that, just export it. And name it. Usually whatever the type of video is. So I'm going to name it how I make my thumbnails. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!